everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jacqueline. I'm making videos every week, a whole variety of things, lifestyle, beauty, adventure, all sorts of fun stuff. And I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. Um, and welcome to an empties. Hopefully you can't hear the baby has the hiccups right now. So hopefully you can't hear him too much, but it's better than him fussing. But yeah, I have some empties for you guys. I've been saving these up for a while. I cannot remember the last time I did an empties. So I have a bunch. So let's just hop right in. I'm gonna try to get through these as quickly as possible. So I have some skincare, hair care, body care, and like some random personal items. I'm gonna start with skincare. I'll leave timestamps down to each category down below in case you wanna like skip to a specific category. And I will link everything down below as well. So yeah, let's hop into it. Okay, let's start with skincare. First of all, serums. I have four of these. They're all the same. I have four of them. And it's the Naturium Azelaic Topical Acid 10%. I love this stuff. I am still currently using it, but I liked this a lot during my pregnancy because I do have acne prone skin. Um, and I got some pregnancy acne, especially in my first trimester. I got really bad acne along like my chin and my jawline and stuff. And azelaic acid is one of those ingredients that is safe to use during pregnancy and helps fight acne, which is great. So if you were pregnant and looking for something to help that pregnancy acne or just have acne in general, you might want to check out azelaic acid. I personally love the Naturium formula because it has niacinamide and vitamin C, which also help, you know, brighten your skin. Niacinamide helps with the acne as well. All that fun stuff. I just really like this formula and how it feels on my skin. Um, I have used the Ordinary Azelaic Acid before too. It was just a little bit too much for my skin type because it's a suspension. It was more like a silicone-y cream. I just didn't really like that for my skin, but it was really good. But I love, clearly, the Naturium Azelaic Acid. So I have four, four of these. Another serum from Naturium that I really liked, I just not fitting it into my routine right now, is their Quadruple Hyaluronic Acid Serum 5%. This is a really good hyaluronic acid serum. I think the price point for it is really good and it works really well. It does have, uh, four, they claim it has four different molecule weight levels. So basically hyaluronic acid is a naturally occurring molecule in your skin and it holds like a thousand times its weight in water. So it's really good for hydrating and plumping, moisturizing, all that good stuff. And it, this one has different weights of that molecule, so it sits at different layers of your skin to like really hydrate your skin the maximum amount, which I really liked. Again, it's a great price point, just a really nice hyaluronic acid serum. I'm just not currently using a hyaluronic acid serum in my routine, but this is definitely one I would recommend. A, a serum that I really, really liked, but I can't, I just, there's other vitamin C's out there. I don't know. I have a whole review on this and in that review I do say that I think it's worth the price and I still agree with that. This is the Hope in a Jar uh, Biome Balancing Glow Serum from Philosophy. This is really really good. It's like $45 which is expensive for basically a really good hydrating vitamin C serum. I really really liked it though. This has probiotics, hyaluronic acid, and AA2G which is a vitamin C sort of derivative. I really like this. It did really good things for my skin while I was pregnant. It was super hydrating. I definitely noticed my acne scars lightening. It was just really, really nice. And like I said, in that review that I do of this, I do say that it's worth the price. And I still agree with that. I would totally pay the $45 for this. It's just not something I want to do right at this moment. There are other vitamin C's out there that are cheaper that I think... I want to spend my money on right now. So yeah, I would still recommend this. I still really, really like it. Just not what I'm going for right now. The vitamin C I am currently using and have already used up once is the Mad Hippie Vitamin C Serum. Again, I have a whole review 30 day skincare test on this. Um, this is one of my favorite vitamin C's. I think it's at a great price. It's a little bit cheaper than the Philosophy one. I wouldn't call this like the cheapest one out there, but it does a really good job. And I like that it's really simple and just does a really good job. 
This also has cognac root, ferulic, and hyaluronic acid in it. So I would say it's very similar to this in terms of like ingredients and what it does for your skin, just at a cheaper price point. Um, but this is one of my go-to vitamin C serums. It's really nice. I really like what it does for my skin and it's the one I've been currently using. Yeah, and it's just a vitamin C I highly recommend and go back to all the time. All right, let's go into some sunscreens. First of all, I have two of the Bliss Block Star. I love this sunscreen. This is probably gonna be a great one for the summer because it's kind of more like a soft matte finish. I wouldn't call this completely matte. Um, it's definitely not like drying and like mattifying, but it's not super glowy either. It just looks like a really pretty filter on your skin. Um, the tint in this is like perfect for my skin tone. I think if you have a darker, like a really deep skin tone, this might not work great for you in terms of the tint, but for like medium to light skin tones, I think this is a great color. It just feels really nice on the skin. It has 4.1 titanium dioxide and 11.5 zinc oxide. So it's just a really good mineral sunscreen. It was my go-to obviously for a while there. I've been trying a few other ones recently, but I would definitely consider this a great one for the summer because of that finish. So if you have like oily skin, this might be a great one for you. Honestly, with my dry skin, I still really, really enjoyed this even in the winter. But I just think for the summer that like soft matte would be nice because if you're like sweating and stuff, if you're getting a little bit more oily, you're not already like super shiny from your um, SPF. So this is a great one. Um, one that I would definitely not recommend if you have oily skin, but I love personally is the CeraVe Hydrating Mineral Sunscreen. The tint in this is kind of dark for me in the winter. Like you can see it on like my neck and like where I've stopped using it you know what i mean like you can see like the line like on my neck where i've like switched to different sunscreens or like you know i don't have sunscreen on my chest or something you can definitely see this so the tint is pretty dark it works great for me in the summer um and this is extremely glowy if you have oily skin i would not recommend this for you um you will probably hate this it is so glowy it's really hydrating which i personally love with my dry skin but yeah, it just leaves your skin like super dewy and glowy that if you have oily skin, I feel like you would hate it because it's already like leaving you looking a little, not oily, but definitely like, yeah, glowy that once you start getting your oils in for the day, that this is just going to be like an oily mess on you. Um, but I love this. I'm currently using another tube of it right now. All right, the last SPF I have is this Neutrogena Pure and Free Baby. I love to use baby sunscreens on my face. They tend to be a little bit gentler. They have uh, like gentler ingredients and all that stuff. Um, I love that it's SPF 50, but they do leave crazy white casts. So I would use this like if I'm working out in the morning, like I'm gonna go on a walk in the morning or something before I do my skincare routine. I like to use kind of just like a normal mineral sunscreen without a tint just to like have some sunscreen on while I'm doing those things and this is the one I was using for a while. It's also great at like the pool and stuff because I know I'm getting that protection. I know it's waterproof and all that stuff so it's just one of those like good to have mineral sunscreens on hand. I keep that on my body if I really needed to but I like it on my face mostly. Okay, a couple cleansers. First of all, I have two bottles of the Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser. This is my go-to face cleanser along with the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser. They're just really nice, simple, great cleansers. They leave my skin feeling nice and clean, but not stripped. They leave it feeling a little bit hydrated. Um, and I've just been going for the Cetaphil one because it's been easier for me to find than the CeraVe one for some reason, but it's really nice. They recently uh, reformulated this. So this has glycerin and vitamins B5 and B3, which I don't remember if it's B5 or B3, but one of those is niacinamide, which is again, great for acne and for you know oil control and all that. So yeah, this is just really great. It says it fights against weakened skin barriers, dryness, irritation, roughness, and tightness. I agree with all that. My skin just feels great using this. So obviously I've gone through two and I'm almost out of the one I'm currently using. So these are awesome. I have one cleansing balm. This is a Coco Kind Oil to Milk Cleanser. I'm pretty sure this has been my last oil cleanser battle thing. I'll leave that up in the corner and down below. But I really like this. It's definitely a thicker oil and I feel like 
if you have oily skin or you don't like the feel of like oils on your skin, you might not like this because it is kind of thicker, almost Vaseline-y and leaves not like a film on your skin, but definitely leaves your skin feeling super hydrated and you can definitely feel UV used this. Um, it didn't make me like break out or anything and I really enjoyed how it worked on my skin. Again, I have really dry skin, so that like oily thickness is really good for me. So I really enjoyed it. I just don't know if this could be everyone's cup of tea. Um, I'm currently trying other oil cleansers. So yeah, this one's not in my rotation now, but I would definitely consider getting this one again. It's definitely one of my more favorite. That's not proper English. I'm sorry. <laughs> but uh, yeah, definitely one of my up there top favorite oil cleansers. Okay, I have one moisturizer. This is the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. I talk about this almost every empties. It's my favorite moisturizer for my face. I use it on my face. Um, if I'm traveling, I'll use it on my body too. It's just a really good cream. Yeah, it's got the ceramides that CeraVe always has in it. I just think it's a really good, simple cream that keeps my face super hydrated without breaking it out. So I just, I love this. All right, and then on to face masks. First of all, I have this Claire... Claire's Freshly Juiced Vitamin E Mask. Um, I have a whole review on this, and in this, I really, really liked it. And I was using it kind of as like a sleeping mask, which I think, honestly, is that that's how they um, tell you to use it. Yeah, you can leave it just like on top of your moisturizer or as your moisturizer. Um, so I was using it as a sleeping mask. And honestly, it was just getting to be too much for my skin. At that point in time, I was doing like a more elaborate skincare routine, and it was just, it was too much. Um, so I still do really like this. I'm just not using it the way I used it in that routine. This was great for like, if I was sitting in the bubble bath, I would like wash my face and put this on while I was in the bath and kind of let it absorb and give me that extra moisture while I was in the bath and then wash it off and go on with my skincare routine. So I really liked it that way. I don't think I would repurchase it, at least not right now. It's just not something I really need in my routine or want. But it was really good and I did really like it. I think if you have oily skin, you might like this just like as your only moisturizer because it kind of feels like a gel moisturizer almost. Um, but it gives you a really pretty glow and I do really like it. It's just not something I need in my routine right now. All right, and then I have a couple sheet masks and a couple eye masks. Let's start with the eye masks. First of all, I use one of the Skin Iceland uh, Hydro Cool Firming Eye Gels. I got like a pack of these. These are just really nice like in the morning to cool the under eye area, to depuff um, without making like a huge mess because these aren't like a jelly sitting in serum. They're just kind of like cooling masks, does that make sense? They're like gels, but they aren't like soaked in a serum. Yeah, they feel really good. They just kind of like depuff. They would be great before like a big event to like smooth out your under eye area, um, but they're not like packed with serum so it wouldn't like mess up your makeup. So that's how I like to use them. They're just really nice. Um, and like I said, I got like a pack of them during the 21 Days of Beauty sale and they're great. This one is the Patchology Perk Up one. This has um, tea infused in it, I guess. I'm pretty sure it's got like caffeine, green tea, bergamot, white mulberry, but I'm pretty sure it has some caffeine in it to like help like brighten the under eye and depuff again. I love Petology eye masks because they you can use them so quickly. This only takes 10 minutes. So for me, I could put these on after I got out of the shower, um, like do my skin, my moisturizer on my body, like get my hair ready and then take these off and my eyes would be like nice and moisturized and depuffed. Yeah, they're just really nice eye masks. I have a couple, I have a different one of Pantelli's eye masks now, but I would definitely consider getting these ones again. They were just really nice. I'm pretty sure I got this like in one of their like kits that comes with like multiple different types of face masks. But yeah, really nice if you're looking for a good like gel mask. This one is like sitting in a serum. So that's nice. Um, but yeah, they're just like a really good eye mask. Some sheet masks. First of all, I have two of my Neutrogena Hydro Boost. If you've seen any of my empties, you know I always have at least like one of these in my empties. These are awesome. Wait for them to go on sale at Ulta or something and pick up a couple. They're just really nice. The hydrating serum in there is amazing and they're really inexpensive, which is nice. So always a favorite, always in my empties. I have two of these Pharmacy Hydrating Coconut Gel Sheet Masks. 
I can't seem to find these at like Sephora or Alter or something, but I have gotten these at um, the Exchange, which if you don't know, is like a military um, uh, department store sort of place. So that's where I get these. They're really nice. I love the coconut gel feel of the sheet mask. The serum in here is really nice. It's just really nice and hydrating. Um, so whenever I need to like a pick me up and I happen to be at the exchange, I'll pick one up. Um, I linked the actual pharmacy website. That seems to be the only place I can really find them. So I don't know what's up with that, but they are really nice. Maybe if you're placing an order on pharmacy, you can pick some up. They are really good. All right. And then the last face mask that I have is this Loops Night night shift mask. So I actually got this in like the loops variety pack, but I'm going to link just this specific one because it's the only one I've used out of the variety pack. Um, this was really nice. It was nice and moisturizing on the back. It says the benefits are firming, moisturizing, nourishing, and relaxing. It says for bedtime, nap time, or couch time. First of all, I love the packaging, like the look of the packaging, right? Like I love the bright colors. I love this kind of like pill shape. I love like the cute little phrases on the front, like telling you what it's for. Um, that's really cute. But then I also hate the packaging because inside of this, you get like a little hard plastic container that the sheet mask sits in and in the serum. But I feel like the serum like shifts out of it and into this packaging. And then you're losing the serum from the sheet mask. If that makes sense. Like it's not fully coating the sheet mask. You're just like losing some inside the packaging and you can't really get it out because it's not like enough to like squeeze out. So that's kind of annoying. The packaging is like hit and miss for me. Um, I just, uh, I don't think they need like the extra hard plastic container inside this. Just put the sheet mask in the serum in here. Like, I don't understand that. But the actual sheet mask was really nice. I love the texture of the mask. It's kind of like a jelly feel. It fits really well on my face. It stays placed really well on my face. Um, and I did like the actual serum in there. You know, it was moisturizing, it was nice. Did it do anything amazing? I don't know. Do sheet masks ever do anything amazing except for hydrating? I don't know. But this was really nice. I don't know if I would get them again because they are five dollars a piece and you have to buy i'm pretty sure you have to buy a five pack like i don't think they sell them individually which again is kind of annoying but um yeah they're really nice if you want to try some new sheet masks they're good ones this one was nice all right let me clean this up and we will move on to probably we'll do hair care really quick all right let's start with just like the basics and then we'll go on from there First of all, I have my Wee Dad shampoo and conditioner. This is the Curl Quencher. Still my favorite. I'm still using it currently. I got these on sale during Alta's like hair event thing that they do. It is a little bit more expensive of a shampoo and conditioner, but I really, really like for my hair. It does great things for my hair. I always have a good hair day after I use it. Um, and honestly, I only wash my hair once a week. So I go through the conditioner a little bit faster, but then I do hair masks in between. So they end up like balancing out. Um, but yeah, they're really, really nice. If you're looking for a good shampoo and conditioner for your curly hair, this is a really good one. The other thing I use all the time that I'm out, I um, ran out of is my Herbal Essences Body Envy Volumizing Mousse. This stuff is great. This is like my last step on my hair before I diffuse it. Um, this one or the one in the purple one is also really nice. It's just a really inexpensive mousse that does its job. It doesn't leave my hair feeling sticky or anything like that. And it's just a really good mousse for my curly hair. So it's the one I always use last on my curly hair, like I said. So really good, really easy to find too, which makes it nice. I don't have to like make a special trip to find my mousse. All right, and then I have a bunch of treatments. Let's start with this one because this is, I think this is a little sample size. I don't think this is the full size. This is the Matrix High Amplify Shine Rinse. So this was really interesting. It was like a liquid basically. It was basically like water and you just squirt it all over your hair. Leave it in for like five, ten seconds, I think. Let me read the directions again. Eight seconds. Leave it in for eight to ten seconds and then you rinse it out. And honestly, this really did work. I noticed my hair was softer and shinier when I did use this. So how I like to use this was I just washed and conditioned my hair and instead of putting in a deep conditioner or a leave-in conditioner or something like that, I would put this in instead. And this was just 
great. Like, I don't understand how this really works, but it worked really, really well. Um, is it something I'd buy again? Probably not. It just seemed kind of excessive to me. I don't know. Um, and I just don't think I'd use it enough to make it worth it. Like, I'd rather just, like, use my leave-in conditioner before my gel. Um, but it was a really interesting idea. And I think maybe if you have straight hair, this would be great because you could just throw this in and then, you know, be done for the day. But yeah, it was really interesting. It was really quick too, which was nice. Um, but yeah, I've never seen anything like this. So that was really interesting. Okay, and then a couple hair masks. First of all, the Redken Acidic Perfecting Concentrate Leave-In Treatment. This stuff was great. It was kind of expensive for for me because of how much I had to use because I have such dry hair that I use more product to like, you know, make sure I'm really getting all that hydration in. But it really did feel good on my skin, my hair, sorry, my hair. Um, it felt hydrated afterwards. I didn't notice any like less damage or anything like that. I don't use a lot of heat on my hair or anything like that, but it did make my hair feel really, really good and I really enjoyed it. Yeah, it was just a really nice like treatment. I don't know about the like uh, perfecting aspect of it, but I did really enjoy it. This mask from Shea Moisture, this is the intensive, the Manuka Honey and Marufa Oil Intensive Hydration uh, Hair Mask. This was really, really nice. I really liked it. It was thicker. It did really hydrate my hair. Was it my favorite hair mask ever? No, it was inexpensive. It was nice. It felt good but it wasn't like life changing. So I don't have much to say on it. It was just, it was fine. It smelled really good, if that helps. Um, and I just love Shea Moisture products. This just wasn't my absolute favorite one. Now my absolute favorite hair mask from Shea Moisture is the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strength and Restore Mask. First of all, it smells like vanilla cupcakes, which is really nice. Second of all, it makes my hair feel amazing. I think I've talked about this before in empties. It's just a really good hair mask. Again, the like restoring aspects, I don't know, but it did make my hair feel really moisturized, really healthy, and it just, it feels really good on my hair. And it smells amazing. So what more can you ask for? If you have curly hair, this is a really, really good uh, hair mask. I tend to like put in my hair and leave it overnight and then rinse it out the next morning. And it just works really well and it smells again. I keep saying it smells amazing because I keep getting whiffs of it. It smells really good. <laughs> That's all the hair stuff I have. I know I don't have a lot of it. So let's move on to like body care and other random stuff. Okay, we'll start with body stuff and then move on to like the random stuff that I have. So first of all, I have two of the Tree Hut Shea Sugar Scrubs in Coconut Lime. Again, these are like always in my empties. They smell amazing. They smell like a tropical vacation and they work really, really well. They have just enough like grit and scrub to like make your skin feel really exfoliated, but the shea in here makes your skin feel really hydrated. They're really expensive, inexpensive. They have great scents um, and I just think they work really, really well. Again, coconut lime is always my favorite. Tropical vacation vibes all the way. My favorite body moisturizer currently is the Jergens Oil Infused Enriching Shea Butter. This stuff is great. It smells really, really nice and it works really well. It leaves my skin feeling super hydrated without feeling sticky and I just really, really like this. It felt great on my pregnant belly. It feels great on my postpartum belly um, and on my body in general. This is just my favorite, favorite one and I like to get the really big size from Target. And it lasts a really long time because I don't feel like I need as much because it's hydrating my skin so well without having to like use a ton of it, which is nice. So definitely still my go-to, still really like it. I'm like halfway through my current bottle. So good. Okay, a couple pregnancy body butters. First of all, the cocoa, the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Tummy Butter for stretch marks. This is all right. It felt more like a pressed oil than like a body butter. It didn't really feel like like lotion, it felt more like a pressed oil or a pressed serum or something, which was fine, just wasn't really what I was looking for. Um, maybe if you're looking for a step like in between showering and moisturizing, you want like one extra step, this would be a good one for you. Nothing can really, things can help prevent them, I guess, but stretch marks are mostly genetic, so you're either gonna get them or you're not for the most part. Obviously, you can help like moisturize the skin, help it 
be more elastic, but sometimes they just happen. I have stretch marks. It is what it is. Um, but this was fine. Just not my favorite. The one I really, really liked was the Burt's Bees Belly Butter. This stuff is great. It's kind of a thicker moisturizer, but not too thick. Um, it feels really, really hydrating and nice. Um, I like that it doesn't have like crazy ingredients or anything in there. It just feels, feels really good on the skin. I still have a uh, half of a container one I'm using now on my post party partum body. It's just nice if you're looking for like a more traditional body butter for your belly. This is a really good one. Yeah, like I said, did it help prevent my stretch marks? Probably not, but it felt really good and it was a nice way to kind of pamper my pregnant belly. All right, and then the last thing kind of for my body, this isn't actually empty, but I figured, you know, I'll throw this in here um, because I kind of know how I feel about it because it's just a bar soap. This is the Moroccan oil body soap. If you love the smell of Moroccan oil, you'll like this soap. It smells exactly like the Moroccan oil you put in your hair, which personally I love the smell of. And it's just a body soap. It's not crazy hydrating or anything like that. It doesn't do anything amazing, but it smells really good. So I threw the like wrapper in here so I could talk to you guys about it. Um, my mother-in-law gave me this and I really like it. It smells really good and it's soap. And then for shaving, I have my Aveeno Positively Smooth Shave Gel. I've talked about this before. It empties as well. Super good. Feels great on my skin. It really does elongate my shave. Like I feel like I don't have to shave as often, which is really, really nice. Don't know what the magic is, but if you're looking for something that will, you know, keep your legs smoother longer, this is a really good one. And I threw this in here just so you guys would know that I finished some Billy razors. Yes, I am still using Billy, which is a subscription service for razors. I really like them. They're really nice. They're basic razors, but they feel really good on the skin. They work really well. My only kind of gripe with Billy that I'm realizing now is that they don't send you reminders that your order is coming up in case you want to cancel or shift your order to a later date. They don't send you reminders. So you kind of have to like go on and check yourself or else you're going to just have like a backup of razors, which happened to me while I was pregnant because I was pregnant, um, you know, in the winter and I wasn't shaving my skin, my legs as much. Yeah, that's kind of my only gripe. Otherwise, they're great. I do really like them and I've used a bunch of them up. And then I have one bath product. It's my Dr. Teal's Epsom salt. I don't know what happened in the bubble bath. I'm sure I finished a bubble bath too, but I don't know where it went. Um, I've talked about these a ton. So good, great Epsom salts. Um, I used these while I was pregnant for like my sore body and stuff and they were great. It's just, they're really nice salt, bath salts, um, really cheap. You can get them pretty much anywhere and I love them. All right, let's talk about some stuff for your hands and feet. First of all, I use two of the Kiss nails. I've talked about these press-on nails before. Love these, so great. They come in great designs. I have more in my drawer now for like later uses. And they're just really nice if you're looking for a cheap manicure at home, really nice. So these are some of my favorites. All right, and then I have a couple hand and foot masks. First of all, I have two of the Aveeno Repairing Sika foot masks. I used to get their hand masks too, and I haven't been able to find the hand masks recently. I don't know why, but these are great, great foot masks. So I basically just like wash my feet, give them a good scrub with like a pumice stone, and then put these on, and my feet feel so soft and so hydrated. And they're just amazing if you're looking for a really good little like pamper session at home. These are a fun little addition and they really, really do work well. All right, and since I couldn't find the Aveeno hand mask, I bought a couple different times to try. First of all, it was this Olay hand mask. Um, this was all right. The Aveeno one's so, so good that it was hard for me to like really love another one. But this was good. It made my hands feel soft and moisturized. Yeah, not like anything crazy special or anything, but it did feel good on my hands and was a good like extra pick me up in my pamper session. That's kind of how I feel about this one as well. This one, oh gosh, what is it from? I ripped off the brand name. I don't know what the brand is. I'll, obviously it'll be down below, but um, this is a Bakuchi All hand mask. Again, it was nice. It was fine. It made my hands feel really good. 
I definitely didn't have as much serum as like the Olay one or the Aveeno one, but it did feel really good on my skin and um, in a pinch, it was a good one. I really liked it. Not much to say about hand masks. They just, you know, they're like sheet masks. They're hydrating. They feel good. Where they do anything crazy, I don't know. All right, the last couple of things are like random stuff. First of all, I have three of the Pronamel Sensodyne Gentle White Toothpaste. This is my husband and my favorite toothpaste. I talk about these every empties. They're just really nice. They keep my teeth nice and white. They help fight against the sensitivity and keep my teeth nice and clean. So this is our go-to toothpaste. And then the last thing is a hand soap. I'm sure I've used more hand soaps than this, but we have been trying to use like more bar soaps around our house to cut down on plastic use. But we do love the Bath and Body Works um, Mahogany Teak Wood. It's one of my favorite, my husband's favorite scents. It's also one of mine. It just smells really, really good. It smells like a sexy man, which I really like. Um, and it was good, you know, as a hand soap, mostly. I like to talk about this scent. So good. All right, that was all my empties. I know that was a lot. Like I said, I've been saving this up since before the baby was born. And that was almost two months ago now. And I'm sure I was saving up for a while before then. I honestly do not remember the last time I had an empties. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If there's something you guys use up every month, let me know what it is. I'm very curious about like your favorites and like things that really get used up in your house. Um, remember to subscribe. We would love to have you join our little adventure family here. And yeah, I think that's it for this video. So I will see you in my next adventure. Bye.